In the next few minutes, you will see how collections transform the way you organize anything, from books to travel plans to project management, and we will build one together so you can start using it today. Collections are databases that live inside your craft documents. But here's what makes them different from a spreadsheet. Every row opens into its own full page where you can add notes, images, links, basically anything you want. And these can be shared or published on web just like any other document or subpage. Now let me show you what collections can do. Here's my reading list. Each book has a title and I added other key information. I added status, for example, so I can see at a glance what I'm reading now versus my wish list. I've added ratings as numbers and dates for when I started and finished each book. I can track multiple formats I own and the colors make everything scannable instantly. Now let's switch to a travel wish list. See how I have all the data in different views or even in different groups. I can see exactly how much each trip costs and I've added a checkbox for practical things like visa requirements. And here's a content calendar for managing publishing workflows, dates, tags, status tracking, and links to published pieces so I can keep everything in one place. So these are three completely different workflows using one simple feature, but now let's build one together. We will go with a travel planner from scratch to see how collections actually work. I will insert a collection by using the forward slash collection. Let's name it travel plans. First, let's call our main column destination. Now I will add fields. Think of these like columns in a spreadsheet, but each one has a specific type. There's a text field for the country, simple text, perfect for names or descriptions. I will use single select for trip type, like beach, city break, adventure, cultural. One choice only, but I can add new options anytime. Multi-select for best seasons, spring, summer, fall, winter, I can pick multiple because some places are great year round. I will add number field so I can track the duration of days as well. I will add the date field to be able to track the target travel date. And a checkbox for a visa required field. So that's it, a functional travel planner in under a few minutes. Here's where it gets powerful. Use the same data and create different perspectives. I will create a new view for places that require visa. Now I will filter to focus on what matters right now. Just trips I'm actively planning by setting up the filter logic based on statuses. And remember, click any trip and you are inside a full page. Add your research or photos and don't forget to share the page with your friends. So start simple. Pick one thing you want to track better. Books, projects, recipes and build your first collection today.